M0FXB. Just going to do a quick video on, on DRATs. I've never even heard of DRATs. So uh, we're on dstarinfo.com slash DRATs.ASPX. I'll put the link in the description. So it really is, it, rats is it's sort of, the word rats is really sort of means D star, but it's backwards. And it's sending, as far as I can see, emails, files, and messages uh, using this program. And, but you can do it via your computer or you can do it via your D star radio. So I've, uh, I've, um, what you do is let's get it, go to D rats here for PC. That's what I've done. Click the, you know, the download, and then when you open it, run it, and you'll end up with these windows here. And you do have to turn, if you're going to set up the radio, before I forget, you do have to turn off the GPS. So I've done that. So you end up with these three windows. Now, for, at the moment, I haven't used this one here, which this is a D Rats map download utility. It will attempt to fetch all the required tiles for a given center location and desired diameter. So I haven't used this part, <coughs> never used that before. I will click start just to see what it does. But anyway, and then you've got this one here, D star repeater proxy. And again, this is something I can't really work out how that works. So I don't know that. But what I have managed to do is this window, which I will open up. It's got my call sign in. I'll show you my settings. now. There's a different setting for radio and for PC. So if we go file, tools, no, file, preferences. So I've got my call sign in there, my name, Andreas. Online DRATS is enabled. Going, on, going offline, DRATS enabled. Imperial, show UTC, I might as well show that. Ping reply, I could say M0FXB. And I just put R U receipt receiving me just for sure English, and then we'll save that. So and then we'll go back into that file again. File preferences. So at the moment it's showing that I'm not really connecting now. GPS. I've changed my location. Okay. Uh, Left that the same. D star station. That all seems fine. Appearance. That's colors. Chat. Sounds. I'll just click yes to everything. To save the sounds. And then we'll go file preferences. So, uh, messages. That all seems fine. Right, now radio, I know this works because I tested it. Now you can, I've added the radio, but I collected my ID52 to the computer. So go to device manager, and it's come up as COM9. If I double click here, COM9, there you are, USB serial device. Um, okay, minimize that, and then now here's the section. Now here you can select the rat sort of reflector if you want, or you can select my D star radio. So at the moment we're on the rat reflector. That's fine. And if you wanted to add add a different radio, you would click add that's connected to a different um, com port, uh, and then you would do that. So um, if we connect the computer, which I have connected. Not really sure what these ticks mean. I could just tick them anyway to see what happens. Save. Right, so now we go back to the chat window. And I've clicked. If you go here to the. You want it to select online, which is fine. And then what you can do, you can right click here and you can click ping all stations. But the problem I've got is that I think it's not connecting via the internet. So I'm not. If it worked, it would, you know. Ping all stations on the rat reflector, and it would come here. But it's, it's like it's not, you know, able to go online. But I still thought it was worth showing you. So I'm going to show you how to select the radio now. And I can actually show you the radio go into transmit. So 
I'll just quickly on the radio, you need to set it to 9600. So you just go menu, like so, set, go to function, go into the CIV part of your radio, and then here on b board rate, we've got it 9600 BPS. And on transceiver, I have turned that on. USB, I haven't touched that. That's, And I haven't touched that either. So it's literally just the board rate. That's all I've done. Now watch what happens when I select that radio. So you go back to DRATS and select preference. Go File, Preferences. I have ticked Connect to the Internet. And then go to Radio again. And this time, un you can only do one at a time. Untick the DRATS reflector and tick the 9. Now, I'm going to click those boxes, but I don't think you need to. We'll, we'll try it both ways. We'll click Save. And now, we'll do the ping all stations here on the right again. So we'll go right-click, ping all stations. Now, if you look at the radio, it goes into Transmit. i just seen it then. It went into Transmit. I could hear it go into Transmit. So it's pinged. Now, if there was another station, I guess, on Pistar, they would get that, and they should be able to reply back text messages uh, back and forth. So and I'll just show you on my hotspot here. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll ping it again. Let's w minimize this. No, let's, get, let's bring that up. And let's just minimize that. Move it out of the way so you can see. And then I'll go right click, ping, and watch the reflector go into transmit. Didn't want to show up on Pistar that time. But you can see it says M0FXBCQCQ. Should you try again? It, it did earlier. But anyway, you know, we're just sort of trying it. Let's try it again. You can see the radio going into transmit. It's possible that my um it says reflector reflector zero zero two A. Let's try and uh, connect the D star. So we'll just go up one, select reflector, link to reflector, one Charlie. There you are. So it is working. <coughs> so Although the radio went into transmit, I couldn't see that it actually transmitted on, on D-Star. So as you can see, I'm just learning this, and I'll title this as Learning. M0FXB. Disc we'll click Connect as well. I wonder if that helps. What we could do... we could do is uh, let's go to now it's saying it's trying to download and connect oh something's appeared JH1 RDA so his station is coming through that's interesting so we have some success there Change that to back to use reflector. So I'm guessing now, I'll click download A. I don't actually know what that means. Uh, yeah, so I think we actually had some success there. This is good. So let's go back to radio. Preferences. Let's go back to radio. Let's untick the radio and tick the reflector again and save. And then this time, let's hit connect. I think it might be my mistake. I didn't connect. Let's hit connect. It says connect in terms of FXB. So this is just via the computer now. Yeah, this is where we got stuck. So it's so possibly just a setting wrong regarding the PC because it's still saying connecting you think it would have connected by now right the connecting has gone so let's just do the ping thing 
ping all stations and let's see if anything comes through. Ping request. Give that a minute to populate. So right, so we're leaving that to try and go online. So what I'll do now, I'll go file. Um, we'll try and qu we'll quit it and then we'll run it again. Uh, we want the communication tool is the one you want really. And then we'll just try pinging again. It says unable to connect here. So we'll just go to chat and we'll click. We could click join. No, we don't want to join channel. That's a separate thing you do. Files, messages. So I'll just do the ping thing on it one more time here. Then we'll turn the radio back on. We'll switch back to the radio. If you do this correctly, if you know how to connect proper, someone message me and let me know. We'll just close file, preferences. We'll go back to the radio, the actual radio. We'll untick that. So maybe it's a different communication in the UK because this is a USA type program that I've seen. We'll click save. Um, and then we'll we'll try a transmission now by pinging all stations. Ping all stations. You can see the radio goes into transmit. Actually, it did show my call sign there at the top, like so. And then we'll go to chat and we'll just say hello. See, so look, we've got some message here that did come back through. CQ, CQ. Don't make any sense to me. Well, I'll just go hello. Like so. Send. Which I just heard it send. So I can see that I can see that it could work once it's fully set up. Now we've got my Pi Star here on Reflector 30. We'll just move that to third Pi Star. We'll do another Zero. We'll click a send there as well on the open spot and look it's just showed that I transmitted on the open spot as well so yeah I think it's quite interesting and I'm going to try it out with a friend later uh, so um, I'll put the links in download it have a little play and see what you think it's free and you don't have to have a radio uh, 7-3 all the best